Grimlock no like you! <laughs> My boy hit my nose! Hello, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And following my previous Transformer War for Cybertron Kingdom Megatron review, today I have another Tyrannosaurus Rex review to show you guys. And here we have today is the Studio Series 86 Leader Class Grimlock from the original G1 series. Or should I say this is more of a Transformer the movie version. So now let's begin. So first thing here we have Grimlock in his dinosaur mode. And of course, this is this design is based on a very long time ago when people think that Tyrannosaurus Rex actually stand up like this. And for the purpose of cuteness, so we have this big fat old dinosaur, which I think still look very cute. And personally, my favorite Grimlock up till today because of his personalities in the franchise. And on top of that, now let's get to some details of him. So now. What can I say except from that this is a really movie accurate Grimlock because we have seen countless version of this guy at his G1 state. So I can say that this is the result of all those here in all the previous Grimlock figures. I enjoyed him as a separate figures and I also enjoyed him displaying next to my other G1 Grimlock. And despite from that for the best comparison I'm gonna bring in my oversized Grimlock for you to compare. So here we have the two Grimlock next to one another and the first thing I'm going to mention here is that I would prefer the looks of the Studio Series versions than the actual oversize. It is because of this reason over here. First thing is the head sculpt. In my opinion, the head sculpt with the blue eyes make Grimlock look more of a cute character than a menacing beast. And that is why I would prefer that. And the second will be the neck. I mean like I enjoy the oversized neck with all that gold plating inside and the clear neck but with this studio series it is more movie accurate and I actually enjoy that a little bit more and one other thing is the arms here so it, with the arms of the oversized version as you can see they are actually divided into different colors so thus I enjoyed it but I would prefer the single colored arms from the studio series version that is really nice and I enjoyed it and Finally, I would, you know, like it is the feel of the feel of figures, you know. So, I would overall, I would prefer the colors of the series version because the movie accuracy. Because the problem with the oversized version is that they use in the body section, they use kind of like the plating details and all that. And thus, I got the feeling this is Mecha Godzilla, you know. It, it, I got this feeling since I first got him, and I, it still keep on keep up until now. And the only thing that I would prefer the oversized version than the studio would be the tail. Because as for the tail, the oversized version make it looks a lot more like a normal dinosaur tail than this here. This is kind of too thick and not too flexible. And other than that, all oh, that is for the comparison. And I'm gonna take back the oversized and just focusing on the studio series version. So as for the head sculpt, the dinosaur head is really nice. Like I have said, you got some details over it, and of course, on the other one side, you still got the screw hole. Which is a shame, I wish they have covered it. But other than that, it is really nice. The mouth can open up. Mm. And you can see some details and a gun inside as well. Which is really interesting. You got the teeth. And I enjoy this head sculpt a lot. It is a really nice head sculpt. I wish the teeth is painted, but never mind that. And despite all of that, like I've said, the color choice they went with is really movie accurate. I enjoy the gold neck. And it is it looks really nice. And talking about colors a little bit, then you got some metallic gold paint onto this section here, which will be the body of the robot. You got the metallic toe, the fang, and down here you got the three set of paint, and then you got a normal green paint. This is red, and you got a metallic blue. The reason that you got a metallic blue is that this is the same color of the eye, and the red up on the body is the same color as the red on the tail. And now let's talk about the articulation in this mode, shall we? So the articulation of the dinosaur mode starts with the head. You can look up and down, you can open his mouth. And the neck can do a rotation. Then we got the arms, it's on the bow joint. So this is all you got. And you got a elbow band, really nice elbow band. And this will be the arm of the robot, so you can do full 360. You can bring it out 
like that. You got a bicep swivel. This is the band. And that is pretty much it. And if you count the toe can also move a little bit. And that could be it. So here we have Grimlock next to Earthrise Optimus and Studio Series Jazz. And as you can see, he towers over the others in this dinosaur mode. And I think that is a really nice look in scaling and everything. And now let's get to his accessories. First up, the accessories will be his famous double barrel rifle, blaster, whatever you call it. So it is, this is a simple piece of plastic, nothing too special about it. And you got this two tab here, which can tap in in the dinosaur mode by this two port over here. Just simply tap them in, and that will be it. And then, of course, you can take it out and apply it anyway with the port that is match for the handle. So you got to get it here, get it, store it here, like that. It is up to you, but not to the second accessories. So he came with a wheelie, a G1 wheelie with the post of having his slingshot. And he's a really nice figure. So he got painted all over the... He got painted really nice with the orange and gray. And he's a non-transformed figure. Then I think the reason for that is for, for optimizing the sitting pose. So that this section here are made as slim as possible. And I really enjoyed him. He got some painted. Face, he got a painted face, as you can see they even paint his eye blue, which is really impressive. We got our bot logos and yeah, overall I, I, I really enjoy this guy. And yeah, that is what he looks like and you can attach him onto Grimlock by this and this over here. And yeah, now you got his the pose of Willy sitting onto Grimlock's neck and doing some shot, which is really impressive. I enjoyed it. And now uh, I think it's time for us to guess the articulation of Willy is that he can rotate his head, it's a swivel. He can rotate the arms and the arm is fixed. So yeah. Just like that. And this is the waist swivel. They even get this guy waist swivel, which is really nice. And this is the only movement of the feet. Personally, I would wish that he got a knee joint. That would be better, but I guess this is too much to ask for. And actually, when you compare this guy to the other minifix that came with other figures, like the uh, weaponizer, the weapon packs of the Ultra Magnus, he's quite uh, bigger. He's quite big. So yeah, that's impressive. And now I think it's time for us. Uh, of course, this slingshot can ro remove. They can, they do, they went with this, but they're not with the knee band. Okay, so now let's get to transforming this guy. For transforming Grimlock, first bring this whole head back, and as you can see, there's this tab over here. Tap it in, and then you want to open up this section, and bring them up, and flip them backwards. And now you can flip back the robot head. And then at this point, you can bring this whole upper, this lower section up. <coughs> and snap that into place, these two holes here. And there's this two peg. And bring back the arms. And lock it into position by this one over here. And now you can bring the hands out. You don't have to do this, but this is only for display purpose because when you got him holding the blaster, it will have to be straightened up again. And now for the final step, take out this. And now you can flip this in. And that is a really nice, I like the feeling of this. And now you can bring this down. And then just... So this one, it has to be slide in like this in order to bring it up. It's the same here, slide. 
and bring it in. Then you can close this. And now you can just bring this around and it could become the feet. And now you want to work down here. Just manage things, you know. And we're done. Finishing transforming Grimlock, I still have the question of why it is so simple. I mean like this is a leader class and I know that they have it they have him big and etc but this is really this is still fairly simple to me you know like I was expecting some a little bit more tricky transformation like with double dealers or um, other figures and I remember the, the figures the leader from the studio series line the O1 they're still they're quite complex but this one I guess since he's a G1 so they try to make him as movie accurate as possible and that means like a little bit lazy but then again that is my personal opinion and to me the result is good it's decent you got a movie accurate grimlock which is really impressive and now let's get to the details of the robot mode the first thing i want to say is the head sculpt i mean this is the og classic grimlock head sculpt so it is like all black with the metallic blue visor on it and nothing too special and i mean this is still the continues of all the previous design we have seen so i would not to zoom about it but what i really enjoy will be the chest as you can see, the chest here has two layers. So first we have the, the golden torso, uh, like I have mentioned in the dinosaur mode, and then we have an Autobot logos, and then we have another clear piece of black plastic to cover it up. So it gives the feel that Grimlock here has an extra layer of armors, and also add a little bit of glass onto him, which I really enjoyed. And next up, get down to the bodies, and this is red all the way through, and only the front section got painted so I think they got lazy and cut some corners to match with the waist and to me that is fine no problem at all but the highlight of Grimlock must go to his dinosaur leg slash robot arms just look at the amount of details uh, sculpted onto there I really enjoyed this this shows a lot of mechanical details and I absolutely adore this the only downside will be the hollow of the arms as you can see over here that is because of transformation I would appreciate more if somehow they can make a small panel that covers this up that would be better but I guess I cannot ask too much for a figure like this and there are some also have some details on, on here as well some tubes and some lining and I really enjoy that to me this is a really great feature because it shows that they care about the figures all the way through and of course this the design features of Grimlock also feature his dinosaur toe which could be a hinder in the robot arms and like you can deposition them however you want it I'm not too complaining about it and now let's move down to the leg the leg however I see is a completely really nice you see no hollows or whatsoever this is all filled up and makes it looks really strong and of course you still got that amount of details and you got some vent and onto the back of course you still have the dinosaur head and I mean I cannot complain too much about that that is the original design so yeah and I think to fair saying that the only problem I got with him is like when I transform him into robot mode I don't feel like as impressive as Hot Rod you know because like when I compare Hot Rod to the Masterpiece version I feel some superiority but now I'm gonna compare this guy to his oversized version which is also the Masterpiece you see so here we have the two Grimlocks next to one another and the first feeling I gotta say is that the oversized Grimlock looks more menacing than the Studio Series versions I think that is because of the red and sharper visor and the head sculpt makes him look menacing and again like I said there's not too much of a difference I would prefer the Studio Series versions the only difference here I think is would be the shoulders the oversized version is looks really bulky and other than that of course the chest of the oversized version is more detailed but I would prefer the Studio Series version chest because of movie accuracy so this is just a comparison for you to see how they looks like next to one another so I mean, I think this is the difference will be like for the Studio Series versions he stand out to the he like stick out to the original material but with the oversized version here it is feel of the, like the improving the old toys from the old days of Transformer or Diaclone size comparison here we have Rimlock next to Studio Series Jazz which is a deluxe class and Hot Rod which is a Voyager class. I enjoy Grimlock being the biggest guy of the Autobot team, if you do not count Skylings and etc. So yeah, I enjoyed I enjoy these guys together. They are on the good scale over here. So accessories begin with this gun over here. So you can that is a simple. You just attach to his hand, plug it in, just like that, and that could be hit. Really simple. 
and you can store it like this if you want to I mean like weapon storage and of course the other will be Willy and he also can sit onto Grimlocks in this mode where this hole over here his soldier shoulder and this pack on his thighs right here so you just simply plug him in just like that and there we go articulation start with the head you can look up and down a little bit do a full 360 the arms like in the robot mode can move out rotate and of course this does get in the way and like, he also possesses the old biceps swivel and this is the new band of the elbow which is really impressive more than 90 degrees and this is the rotation of the hand and then back we have a waist swivel full 360 we got a beautiful split which is really nice this is the kick to the front and kick to the back this is the knee band uh, we have the thigh swivel so this is a knee band 90 degrees and we got a pivot and that would be it so articulation wise, I think this guy is decent he has to pull off some pulls with the other team and I mean I cannot ask for too much he's a leader anyway and so yeah I'm, I'm still impressed with this guy amount of articulation and posing this guy will not be a pain in the ass to me or anyone who possesses this figure so this wraps up my video of the studio series 86 leader class Grimlock tell me what you think in the comment section below and also give me a like and share and subscribe if you are new other than that follow me on instagram that is where i do most of my updates and also if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link is in the description below and that could be it for today guys turn out